Hey lovelies, Larissa J here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notifications of all my forthcoming videos. Today, as you can tell, I have my wonderful husband, Javan Johnson, doing? with us for, actually this is part two um, of part the two. I'm Courting Now What mm -hmm. slash Courting 101 video. So if you've mm -hmm. not seen that, I will include a link so that you can go back and see part one first. This is part two. Today we're going to um, continue on with the questions that we got about um, in a courtship. Mm -hmm. What are some questions that you can ask? Um, so this is for those who just got into a courtship, fairly new, or mm -hmm. you know maybe you've been in it for a while, but you didn't think about the questions that you need to ask. So we're going to mm -hmm. be talking about some questions to ask, and we're also going to be talking about pacing because that was another question that I received. Um, so we're going to cover all of that now. All right. You ready? Yes. So. We did write, I have notes on my phone, <clears throat> so I'm looking at my phone, we're looking at the notes. Mm -hmm. So let's start with some questions. Um, in part one, we did kind of address some questions, so mm -hmm. today we're just going to go a little bit deeper on the questioning and some questions that we asked each other mm -hmm. when we were recording. Some stuff was before we were recording, mm -hmm. but um, we're going to share some of those with you, <clears throat> some stuff that you may not have thought to ask, things that are very important, especially if you're considering marrying this person because we talked about how courtship is to see if you and the person that you're with are compatible for marriage. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you have anything to add? Yes, yeah, so I was thinking about like one of the things was some of the stuff that we talked about may have actually been before we started courting. So, I mean, however God leads you, if some of the things you feel like you're supposed to talk about even earlier before it's officially a courtship, you may want to talk about those things as well. But the key is you need to talk. Exactly. Okay. First thing that we have on our list is relational history. Babe, you want to talk about that first? Yeah, so I mean, as far as like your expectations, like for us, we both were virgins before we got married and we both wanted to be with a virgin. And so if that's something that's important to you, you definitely want to have that conversation, um, you know, so you can know where you stand. And even if it's not necessarily even about the whole virgin thing, just just so you, for you to know like the person's history as far as like things you should know about them, um, you know, anything in their past. I mean, they have kids, you know, that's something obviously you probably would know that beforehand, but anything from their from their sexual history that that you would need to know or you would want to know so to speak is definitely good to, to have a uh, conversation mm -hmm. so this is like all past well not all but your past relationships no you don't have to go down the line of every person you dated right. <laughs> and all of that but the the key details the things that stand out um are things that you definitely want to make sure like you know if you kiss someone before if you slept with people before mm -hmm. Maybe even how many people you slept with before. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That kind of thing. Sexual health. Mm -hmm. um, do you have STDs? Do they have STDs? Right. Like he said, does anybody have a baby? Baby right. mama, baby daddy. <laughs> right, like right. that whole situation. Um, custody type deals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have been married before. Right. <laughs> those those yeah. types of things are things that you need to be talking about during courtship. Right. Um, is there anything else in that category? That's like a big old, that's a big umbrella. Yeah. And I think like with other things, there could be things specific to your situation. So if there's something going on with your specific situation, you know, just be open and honest about it. If it was something you would want to know, then make sure you share it as well. And going to, you know, piggybacking off of the being open and honest, even with like people in your past that you may have dated or been with or talked to or whoever, mm -hmm. who may have the tendency to try to pop up. Yes. That's something that you need mm -hmm. to talk about as mm -hmm. well, because right. that happens. That's just right. how life is. Yeah. I remember I was telling my sister, I'm not going to put her name mm -hmm. out on blast or anything, but we were talking about that. And I was saying like, for whatever reason, people just pop up. That's mm -hmm. something that my father-in-law had mentioned. Like, they just come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. But that's something that you need to discuss. So it's mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, I just need you to know that I dated this person five mm -hmm. years ago, but mm -hmm. they will look crazy mm -hmm. and they might just mm -hmm. pop up. <laughs> or if you see people date crazy people by accident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if you see, you know, if you ever see that somebody, you know, sent me a message or on my wall on Facebook, or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, is it even called a wall? Was that MySpace? At one point, it was called a wall. I'm not sure what it's called now, but... Yeah. But just be open mm -hmm. and honest mm -hmm. um, so that your, the person that you're in the courtship with knows, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, they mentioned this to me. And it's mm -hmm. not, like, a big surprise because that will just cause your whole little thing mm -hmm. to crumble. Mm -hmm. The relationship has to be founded on trust and openness. So right. even if nothing happened, right. you know, you just need to be open. Yeah. Anything else in that? That's good. All right. Check! <laughs> 
Okay, so we talked about sexual health. That's definitely something that you want to talk about. Yeah. Sexual history, but also health in general. So mm-hmm. mental health, mm-hmm. um, physical health, emotional health. All of these are things that are very important. And sometimes you wouldn't think to ask mm-hmm. or just be vigilant and paying attention to. But mm-hmm. they're out there. Mm-hmm. I remember getting to know somebody who had like a mental health situation going on. So mm-hmm. like it's a real thing. Make sure that mm-hmm. you're aware of the person that like you pay attention to mm-hmm. your person's like the way they carry themselves, the way they behave, right. the way they interact with other people. Um, but also have that conversation. Hey, is there anything health wise that I need to know about? Right. Uh, I think one of the questions um, that we talked about was like if I if you were going to the doctor, um, you know, and you know how they right? They mm-hmm. ask all those questions. Like, is there mm-hmm. anything that you would let them know? Like, right. You know, as far as your health goes. Right. Because um, you need to be open and honest with your spouse. That's, you know, yeah. or your future spouse, if right. that's how it goes. Yeah. So make sure that you talk about those things, um, yeah. even if it seems small, like anemia, diabetic, whatever. Just mm-hmm. lay it all on the table. Mm-hmm. Well said. And emotional health. Um, A lot of times people get into relationships and don't allow themselves to heal from Mm -hmm. the other thing. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you also have that conversation as well. And check yourself. You know Mm -hmm. if you're still (laughs) broken down from the last relationship, don't do that to the new person. So just have that conversation as well. If if both of you guys are emotionally healthy. Mental health, emotional health, physical health, spiritual health, and sexual health. Mm -hmm. So we're not giving you all the questions. Those are just little umbrellas you need to talk about. Mm -hmm. Well said. I mean, it's like with your specific situation, you know, you just have to keep in mind what's going on in your uh, relationship and your situation. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's my sister. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so um, the next thing is children. So we talked about making, you know, seeing what's going on with the person that you're with. If they Mm -hmm. have kids, you have kids, whoever has kids. Outside of that, though, going forward, let's say you to get married um, and you have children, you need to have conversations about that as well. Mm-hmm. You want to go into yeah. I mean, the expectations. I mean, for starters, like talk about if you both want children or not, because that can be a deal breaker for people that one wants one and one doesn't. Yeah. Um, also, like as far as your expectations, as far as parenting um, and how many children. Also, I mean, yeah. be led by God. Obviously, I mean, it's like you know, I mean. If God, if you may have in mind maybe like two kids or something, and if God tells you three, obviously, you know, but I mean, if you had that conversation, like to say, okay, right now we're thinking two or whatever that number is, uh, that's something. And then expectations as far as like the way you raise your kids, uh, those types of things, make sure you have that type of conversation. Um, because, you know, sometimes people may believe two different things um, in that regard. So, so yeah, I mean, the, the big thing is to make sure you're on the same page with the expectations, with parenting, yeah. uh, things like that, yeah. Very good. How you discipline the kids. Like, some people feel like, okay, we're just going to do this way. Another person may feel, well, I want to do it this way. That's important to deal with that early before you, like, are in the midst of having kids. And then that comes up. Like, well, wait a minute. That's not the way I was raised, you know. So it's important to have those types of conversations. Prime example. Nowadays, do you believe in spankings or not? Mm -hmm. Or are you the type of person that's like, oh, no, we'll just take away his toy or Mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, put them in timeout. Those types of conversations mm-hmm. are very, very important. Right, right. Um, okay, spiritual. Mm-hmm. We kind of address spiritual health a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, I have like your testimony as a Christian. That's mm-hmm. important. That's something yeah. that we talked about in the beginning. Yeah. Hey, like, what's your testimony? How did you come to know Jesus? Like, yes. you know, you kind of need to know where this person is spiritually. Mm-hmm. But even in that, like. Um, Everything, prayer, your prayer mm-hmm. life. How often do you go to church? Do you right. go to church? Are you cool with sleeping in on a Sunday? Are you going to be there every single, like everybody has, everybody's different. Right. Everybody's convictions are different. So mm-hmm. you do need to talk about that. Don't just assume. Um, you have mentioned church. Yeah. I mean, another thing is you think about it. And once again, depending on your situation, but like for us, we weren't going to the same church. We weren't even living in the same state. So you think about these types of things. I mean, for starters, like, if you're going to two different churches, like to have that conversation, um, if you're living in two different states, obviously, you know, to have that, that conversation, like, OK, where are we going to live once we're married? That type of thing, because, you know, that can be a thing like it, it's like, well, OK, if one person wants it this way and the other person wants it that way and there's no compromise, then not going nowhere. Right, exactly. So I think these are types of conversations to have, um, you know, about those types of things. Mm-hmm. Um, prayer life and devotional like. 
quiet time with the Lord, those types of things you talk about. Mm -hmm. Do you spend time with the Lord on your own? Right. Are you guys going to spend time together? Mm -hmm. Do you pray together? Do you read the Bible together? If you were to get married, what would that look like? Mm -hmm. um, make sure you have those types of conversations. The biggest thing is like, don't assume anything. Don't right. just say, well, I go to church every mm -hmm. Sunday and I know that I read my Bible every day mm -hmm. and just assume that the person that you're with is going to be the same way. Right. You have to have that conversation so that you mm -hmm. guys are on the same page. And that kind of ties into expectations. Mm -hmm. That was one of your points. So I'll let you talk about that first marriage expectation. Yeah, well, I think, I mean, we kind of hit it in different categories, but really what, what you expect going into a marriage. So what you expect from like the, the spousal roles, so to speak, you know, what you expect the husband to do, what you expect the wife to do, to make sure you're on the same page with that. Mm -hmm. And then also as far as like, you know, how involved you will be in church, you know, some people um, may have yeah. One thing in mind, well, I just want to go to church. You know, other people may have like, well, I want to serve in the church. I want to do this in the church. So, I mean, to make sure that you guys have those types of conversations so that there are no surprises. Um, and I mean, things, the one thing I want to make clear is it's not to say that you're going to have a conversation about every single thing, but you at least want to get the conversation going, meaning that there may be something that popped up maybe like later on down the line that's like, okay, it was something God had put on my heart to do this particular ministry. And I didn't think to talk about this during courtship. So I'm not saying that you're going to remember every single thing. But I mean, the things that are important to the best of your ability, make sure you have those types of conversations. Make sure you're open and honest. And I mean, that's the thing. And pray about it. Pray even, you know, and ask God to, to even show you what it is to talk about so that you guys can be on the same page. Yes. Talk about chores. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember we talked about yeah. that. Like, I, you know, like doing this. Or I don't mm -hmm. like doing this. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I can, I can do this chore. And you can, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Right. So just kind of talk about that. Um, whether your expectations are... For, you know the woman to clean and do everything are you gonna go like teamwork like everybody's expectations are different so just mm -hmm. make sure that you and your partner partners a weird word, mm -hmm. you and your person <laughs> are on the same page mm -hmm. um, even with chores roles responsibilities um, budgeting who's gonna mm -hmm. do that yeah. you know who's you know all of those types right. of things are things that you want to talk about mm -hmm. um, Expectations, expectations, even like the climate of your marriage, because mm -hmm. everybody has an idea of what marriage would be like or what they want marriage to be like. So make sure that you have conversations about mm -hmm. that as well. Right. Um, what type of climate do you want to have? Are mm -hmm. you OK with getting in an argument and slamming the door and somebody just mm -hmm. screeching out onto mm -hmm. the road in their car? Like mm -hmm. those types of conversations need to be had. Like right. we're not slamming no doors, right. like right. Right. have mm -hmm. those conversations. <laughs> as well mm -hmm. um, and make sure that whatever it is that you all discuss and decide you implement that in your courtship so when you're mm -hmm. courting if you've established like we're not slamming doors we're not going to be yelling and arguing like mm -hmm. that right. we're going to talk to each other respectfully and mm -hmm. you know if you need to take a break we take a break mm -hmm. but make sure that you implement that in the courtship too right so that if you have a little argument or whatever in the courtship you implement those same things because i think we talked about this in the last video you're setting the stage. If mm -hmm. this is the person that you're going to marry, yeah. you're laying the foundation now. So just make sure that what you guys are doing now is how you would want your relationship or how you want your relationship to be if you were to get married. Right. Absolutely. Um, I have premarital counseling in here just as like a little mm -hmm. note to like talk about. Are mm -hmm. you both open to premarital counseling? Right. Is that something you're going to do? Would you want to do? Not do? Gotta be on the same page there. And money. Yes. You need to talk about money. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on where you are in the courtship, you'll need to like lay your whole credit score and everything out initially. But as you see that you're starting to head towards engagement, like, hey, mm -hmm. you my person, like mm -hmm. we're gonna be together for life. Like you do need to talk about um, you know, debt, mm -hmm. credit score, how many credit cards do you have? Mm -hmm. Are you like a spender and you go crazy, shopaholic, and you just go put everybody mm -hmm. under like that type of conversation needs to be had as well yeah maybe even hey do you are you still paying on your car are you still right. paying student loans just so you can kind of have an idea of how much mm -hmm. debt you guys might have combined right anything else on that yeah i mean that, that's the thing is because once again like when you get married you're coming together so i mean as far as the things that's important like you know and even certain things you may like you may like to do like as far as like investing or things like that i mean even kind of kind of talking about i guess you would say like your philosophies uh towards finances so to speak well like okay i like to save i like to do x y and z to kind of let it be known like okay like i like to do this percentage you know yeah. out of my check for this 
you know, those types of things so the person can have an idea like, okay, well, I know this person likes to invest or I know this person likes to do, you know, whatever that, that may be. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, the last thing as far as questions, and there are tons more questions, but we're not going to be all day on this video. <laughs> so if you would like a part three of questions, let us know. But um, it's kind of cheap. Kind of keep it brief. Kind of keep it brief. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it brief. Um, so the last thing on the questioning end was, again, everybody's on different pages. Mm -hmm. And so you do want to have a conversation about views on divorce mm -hmm. and prenuptial agreements. Um, everybody, again, is different. For us, we just had to make sure that we were on the same page that prenups right. and divorce, not, not an, an option. option. So it's not even a thing to discuss. Once right. you have that initial discussion, it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be brought up again. Right. But you do need to have that initial discussion mm -hmm. because you need to know if right. your person's thinking, well, I'm a little prenup on the side, like, you need, you need to know that. Right. Um, so make sure that you have those types of conversations as mm -hmm. well. Like, what is your view on marriage? How mm -hmm. serious and how permanent is it? Mm -hmm. Y'all got to be on the same page there. Right. Um, the last thing that... Um, we wanted to cover was the pacing of uh, the courtship. That was a, a specific question that I got from someone. They wanted to know, shout out to you. Mm. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but she, she wanted to know, how do you pace your relationship? Make sure that you're not going too fast. Mm. Um, and also making sure that you're not going too slow. Mm. How would you answer that? Well, again, it's for your specific uh, situation. I think that's the important thing is, is to be seeking God about it. And then from there, you know, I feel like if you're moving like faster than you should, God will let you know, like in one yeah. way or another, how it is. But I think the thing about it is to kind of look at, OK, like once you have these these types of conversations, as far as like what your life will be like to kind of look at, OK, like how can we how can we do this? Like where the transition will be smooth, not in the sense of I want to make sure I'm clear with this, not saying it's always going to be comfortable. So I think the big thing is important to make sure that you're doing things in God's timing for you in your relationship. That's very important because, you know, some things may be different based on a couple who both live in the same state versus a couple who live in two different states. You know, in, in our situation, we were living in two different states. But I think the thing about it is, is to pray about it, see God, and then to look at the different things you are you're trying to get accomplished, um, you know, going into your marriage. You know, as far as like, uh, like one thing may be like, premarital counseling, okay? I wanna make sure I give, we give ourselves enough time to get those counseling sessions in, you know, or to make sure we have enough time to, to do this if we're trying to, you know, whatever it may, whatever your specific thing may be to make sure that you, you're, we have enough time to get that done. So, yeah. I mean, there's really no like, necessarily like, like one date or one time, like it's not like everybody is gonna be six months, everybody's gonna be a year or anything like that. I mean, I think it can really vary from person to person. But the thing is, if you're seeking God and you're asking him, I think from there you will get that answer. Absolutely. Absolutely. A prayer for sure. Mm -hmm. um, general rule of thumb for me. Now, this is not even in the relationship yet. One thing that I noticed when I was single is that before even getting into any kind of relationship, within about a four-month period, mm -hmm. I knew whether or not this person is somebody I need to be messing with. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you're not even in a relationship yet and you're just like talking, um, don't let it go beyond right. that window like and it should honestly you probably know before but four months was like max for me it was like every single time i was trying to get to know somebody within that four month window you should be able to tell should i proceed or should i just drop this person because it's not going to go anywhere right. then when you get in the actual relationship absolutely you be prayerful mm -hmm. everybody's situation is different but again it should not drag out. Like, if this is like a God-ordained relationship, which most believers want a God-ordained relationship, you want God's best for your life, it shouldn't really take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten years right. of courting this person to know. Mm -hmm. It really shouldn't take that long. What I've noticed is a lot of time it's actually pretty brief. Um, for us, it was like a short... We I think I talked about this in one of the other videos. We mm -hmm. started our courtship in May... Um, and we got engaged in that December of the same year, 2017. Mm -hmm. And then we got married in May of 2018. So mm -hmm. from courtship to marriage was a year. Um, is that going to work that way for everybody? No. Mm -hmm. I've heard of people who've done it sooner. But you just need to make sure that you have peace in your heart. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you, you've gone through all those questions. You mm -hmm. feel like you know that person. This person is like your best friend and you could imagine life with them. Don't neglect, because I know what it's like. You want to hurry up, hurry up. I want to get married. 
don't skip all the important stuff. Mm -hmm. But once you've covered all of that important stuff, you guys know each other, you have a plan, you're on the same page and all of that, you've prayed about it, you have peace in your heart, and things are falling into place, mm -hmm. it really it really just depends. Um, so does that answer the question? I think it does. How do you make sure you don't go too fast or too mm -hmm. slow? I definitely talked about too slow. Mm -hmm. If you go on two, three, four, like mm -hmm. that's a little too long. <laughs> At least for me, I it was too no. It shouldn't yeah. take that long. Yeah. Um, are you going too fast? Like yeah, yeah, he covered that too fast. You need to make sure you cover all your bases. Mm -hmm. Make sure yeah. that you prayed about it. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Love your questions. So if you're watching this one and you have more questions, feel free to hit me up. There are people who have just hit me up on Instagram. I totally appreciate it. Um, my Instagram is Mrs. Dot J. I'm put it in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, you can hit me up on Instagram, you can comment, I appreciate the comments that I've been getting on the YouTube videos, you can comment there as well, but if you have questions, feel free to let me know so that we can cover them in another video. Yes. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye!